Hello everyone, Shravan Mantri here. Welcome to our channel CSC Gurus. Here we are solving the hacker rank problems. In the algorithm, the subdomain is warm up. So we have solved the questions up to 7. We are going to the next one, mini maxim. We will see this question. If you are not able to get the link, I have given the link in the description. You can check it out. The question is mini maxim. Here it is asking directly in a given positive integers only five elements you have to find minimum and maximum values that can be calculated by summing up exactly four out of five integers if you take this one three five seven nine you must make the sum of all the elements except the smallest element and also except the largest element if you consider here the largest element is nine if you ignore the remaining four elements sum is 16 and if you ignore the smallest element the remaining sum is 24 so that if you ignore the largest element you will get the sum which is a minimum value and if you ignore the smallest element you will get the sum which is a maximum value you can get it so among all these elements which element if you ignore so that you will get the minimum value which you can say that largest element so you can see 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 which is 16 and here 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 9 which is 24 so you have to print 16 and 24 so the answer concludes that the 16 is the smallest sum you can get by taking any four elements 24 is the largest sum that you can get by taking any four elements if you consider this example 1 2 3 4 5 so the smallest value sum of four elements which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is 10 and largest value is 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 14 and here it actually the elements in this test case it is given as sorted order but there is no need of like in the test cases it will be in the sorted order if it is a sorted order our answer is simple like we will ignore the first element so that maximum sum we will ignore the larger last last element it will be the minimum sum but here it's not given like that so the logic is simple first we need to print the smallest sum how to get the smallest sum we just have to subtract with the largest number first anyway get the sum of all the elements in the array now once you get the sum subtract with the largest element maximum element in the array so that you will get smallest sum and the in order to get the second answer from the sum just subtract with the minimum element so that you will get the maximum value that's it these two things has to be done the answer will be over these two numbers has to be printed side by side so print two space separated long integers so here the thing is it must be a long integer it might go beyond the integer when you write the code in a languages you must care about the data types we will try to write the code in java here we directly want to move to the minimax method directly here public static void so you are not supposed to return anything you just have to print here i have taken s is the sum initially i need the sum for that i have taken s equals zero which is a long integer long integer because of the total sum it might go beyond integer which is given in the question so that's why i have taken anyway min and max also i have taken in the long integer and minimum equals maximum equals to i have assigned with the first number so how to get the minimum value so among all the values every time i want to update minimum maximum and also sum for example if i take these five elements 10 20 5 12 and 8 so what is the s value initially zero what is the minimum the first element 10 what is the maximum the first element 10 that's what we are assigning air dot get zero anyway we are comparing integer i colon arr you can use this for each loop every time not a problem s equals to s plus i what is s initially 0 0 plus 10 the value is 10 now max equals to math dot max of max comma i what is max 10 comma what is the current element 10 10 comma 10 what is the maximum 10 only and minimum 10 comma 10 what is the minimum 10 only next time it will take the next element 20 so s equals to s plus 10 plus 20 which is 30 and math dot max what is the max now 10 and what is the now value i which is 20 so 10 comma 20 which is the maximum 20 here you can take and what is the math dot min comma i see 
10 comma 20 which is a minimum 10 only should not update next value 5 so 30 plus 5 35 it will take and what is the maximum is that 5 or 20 20 so do nothing and minimum minimum 10 10 comma 5 which is a minimum 5 next value 12 uh, s plus i 35 plus 12 which is 47 12 what is the maximum now 20 now the 12 which is a maximum 20 so do nothing for this and minimum 12 comma 5 which is a minimum 5 only next the last element 8 so 47 plus 8 55 and now what is the maximum is it 8 or 20 20 is the maximum fine uh, what is the minimum 8 and 5 which is the minimum 5 only do nothing so like this now what you need to print so first you should ignore the maximum value to get the minimum what is the maximum 20 55 minus 20 which is the answer is 35 the first answer 35 if you want to get the maximum ignore the minimum 5 so 55 minus 5 the answer is 50 so that means among these elements you can get minimum sum as 35 maximum sum as 50 so we'll try to execute this code and anyway you have to print with respect to space that's why i've given double quotes with space run the code yes test case is passed and submit the code so all the test cases 14 test cases are passed so this part long integer you must take that is very most important because the answer the sum is going beyond the integer which given in the question and also i recommend you to watch the top 90 data structure mcqs and here i kept totally 18 videos which is of 5 mcqs each video uh, even I kept all those 90 questions as a single video that is top 90 data structures MCQs You can watch this one also which is of almost 4 hours You can see each one you can either go for playlist or you can watch it as a single video We will see the next one birthday cake candles in the next video lecture Thank you